Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's Sean here with another video. Now, I set the ball machine up. I seen a guy on uh, YouTube. He has a similar machine, and what he did is he put it at 20 degree angle. He turns the speed down. The ball doesn't have so much slice because this machine has a lot of kick on it. It has a lot of slice that comes out. And I've heard a lot of people try to critique this machine, but I don't see the people critiquing it actually hitting off of it to, to say, well, you know, because they probably can't hit off of it, and that's the problem. It does take some time to get used to that slice because unless you're playing in a 4-0 or 4-5 level and you're playing people at that level, college players and stuff, they hit with a lot of kick and a lot of spin. It's something to get used to. If you're just a club player, and like I used to teach at the Oceans back in the 80s and 90s, and the highest level I got to was like a 5-0. I was actually rated a 4-5, but I was playing in the Opens, the 5-0 Opens. I actually won a doubles match, and I came in second place in singles, and I came in first place the first year they did it in singles and doubles. So I had to work hard. I've always had to work hard at things that I do when it comes to sports, except for football, baseball, and surfing. It all just, surfing just came natural, natural to me. Um, regular footed. I spent my whole life, you know, from the time I was about nine to 10 years old out in the ocean, you know. And then I started picking up tennis when I was about 16. 15 or 16, I started actually playing a lot with my friends and then we started playing in tournaments and then I got a job at the Ocean Racket Club and then I got some lessons and stuff like that. But right now, my level of play is, is not as good as it used to be. I hadn't played in 22 years, almost 24 years, and I started playing about nine months ago. So since I've been playing, I've lost 35 pounds. I'm getting my diabetes too under control. And I'm working with this machine. I uh, saved up and bought it. And it was on sale for $6.50 at the, on their website. Now I don't work for Slinger or none of that stuff. I'm just telling you it was affordable. It fits in my Chevy. I got a little Chevy H, uh, HR or whatever they're called, the little square cars. I just got that. So I've been working hard and saving my money to buy the things I need to, to get better at tennis and to play other people. And what I do is I come out, I jump a little rope to get my legs going because I have two hip replacements and a plate in my shoulders. So I get my body warmed up. Then I'll practice serves, which I showed you in other videos. And what I do is practice my serves. And now we're gonna say I have this machine set up to where it's gonna hit short balls because Every, every level that I've seen play, even during these people at, at Monday, Wednesday through Friday, you have some four or five, four O players in that league. And some of them could even be five O players who just can't move because they're up there in their age. But um, the most problems I see besides easy volley, missing easy volleys and some easy overheads is the short ball. So that's something you have to work on and you have to get used to that. So let's try this before the rain comes because I got a storm coming, so we're gonna try this. I don't know exactly where the ball is gonna land. I'm assuming it's gonna land in this little area here. So we have a little rain storm. It's not too bad as of right now. So I'm gonna try to get some practice in and uh, see what I can do. I'm gonna play a little bit back and see, see where the ball bounces. I'm assuming it's gonna be right in this area because I got it leveled up. It's at a 20 degree angle. You get the short ball, that's perfect. And that's what you want to work on. You can actually, uh, you can actually get it, um, turn it up a little bit more. But as I said, the short ball is where people have problems putting the ball away, putting their aiming, and I'm not trying to hit hard. I'm just trying to move the ball around. Get this guy out wide, that's a good shot. Slice. 
any more balls coming, but that's better. Unforced errors on the back of the side. Pretty crappy. Okay. This will be off. This all could be avoided just with good footwork. Wouldn't be hitting the ball into the net like that on the backhand side. The forehand side I'm not too mad at. I got a lot of shots in. But with poor footwork, just not moving to the ball, not bending my legs to hit that backhand. You have to bend your legs to hit good shots. You just have to. 
and I know that. And then when I get a chance to set up correctly, I hit a nice clean backhand. And that used to be one of my stronger shots. And now, with shitty footwork, you know, my backhand slice is pretty decent. Thank God for that. But, you know, if I want to get back up to a high level, I can't have balls on this side of the net here. It's fucking ridiculous and it pisses me off because I know I played much better than this. Thank God I played better than I practiced. Because right now, the way I'm practicing is complete fucking trash. Sorry about my language, but it irritates me. This is not, this is uncalled for. Especially when you're working on stuff and you just are so stupid and stubborn, you keep going back to old ways that you did when you were a little kid. And I'm not a little kid, I'm a grown ass man. And I already know how to play this game better than this. And it irks me when I come out here and I'm shanking balls there three feet from me because I just won't turn my body correctly. But in matches, I'll play, per I'll play perfect. I won't miss those shots. But in practice, I miss a lot of easy shots. And it just, it, I just don't get it. You know, most people play better in practice than they play. And I'm just the opposite. Like sometimes I'll come out here when I don't have the camera on, I'll hit every ball over everywhere I want to go on both sides. And thank goodness I have a good serve. And I am playing with the profiles. And as I, I said, these are the best rackets ever made in my opinion. They are the stiffest. And they can give you give the players, you know, a little extra power. And the ball, the ball don't bounce, don't bend in your, you know, the racket don't bend in your hand if you're playing against big players and people that hit big serves, you can just easily get the ball back. But these are 30 year old rackets plus. I got new string in them and I'm messing around with the strings. This one has 48 on the main, top spin, Wilson top spin, natural. Uh, and then I have Wilson uh, 17 gauge on the mains or on the crosses at 44. So I mess around with these rackets. I string them four pounds later on the crosses and then uh, just is messing around with them. I have better string than this. I have the uh, Slinko G string. I'm gonna put that on there, or G Force. I'm gonna put that on my next racket. And I also have the Genesis. So I had done the bobolettes like that uh, at 50 pounds with those crosses and mains being different uh, with a higher end string, and they hit pretty good. Off, it hits pretty good off of it. So when I get these, next time I get these, because I have five of these rackets that I had for years and I put a new grip on them. And since I play so much, I wear my grip out. I don't really use wraps. I just use the grips that come with the racket and I'll buy Wilson. And the best grips I've found so far are actually the Prince grips. They have the holes in them and stuff. And then I'll just uh, tie it off, put some duct tape or electrical tape around it and it's ready to go for me. And I use a rubber band for a vibration so I'm old-fashioned old school or whatever everything about my game is old school and I'm trying to work on more modern techniques and stuff by practicing and that's one of the problems I have with my backhand because I usually just bring my backhand back and just hit through it and just but I'm trying to bring top spin into it and you have to bend your legs and get down and hit use your legs and your body you can't just use your arms. Only when you're in a position where you're getting like a serve, that's a big serve and you gotta go out like that with it, you know, to get it back. That's the only time you shouldn't be using your legs because you don't really have a chance to. But if you got a chance to set up, you need to bend your legs and don't do what I just did. So I'm gonna analyze this video and there's a big ass storm coming, so. I probably have just enough time to catch these balls, put them in this machine and get home before it starts pouring down rain. So I appreciate everybody watching. Sorry about my language. It's frustrating. I will, by the end of the summer, get to a higher level. I'm going to practice and get better at it every day and uh, not make silly mistakes. So thank you for watching. God bless everybody. And I appreciate your support for those who watch my videos and give me support. Thank you, Nathan and Stefan. And uh, there's been good matches on, on YouTube. So I've been at home checking it out. So thank you so much for everything. And I appreciate your time. And God bless everybody here.